So then I received this this DM from this person I'd never heard of before. Mm. She is bold. Yes. She is so bold. Yes, and said and said your packaging sucks. <laughs> <laughs> And and see, I, I I I knew that my packaging was not where it needed to be. I knew that there was another version that it needed to it needed to another evolution needed to go through. I just didn't know where it was going to come from. Hi, this is your boy G. I'm CEO of Puff Cup. Hey, this is Sita, founder and inventor of Puff Cup, and you are listening to Eye to Eye. Hey, Puff Cup family, this is Sita, inventor and founder of the Puff Cup here with Mr. Dondre Anderson. My husband, man, Garrett, had to leave. We had to divide and conquer some doggone children. Somebody's got to do it. It's the life. And I was like, let's drive separate this morning, <laughs> just in case. You yes, already knew. I get to go to Trader Joe's by myself <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 the key to having sons that you know nothing but sons now if it was a dance recital guess it would have been well i gotta go i i know no i'm speaking for the fathers out there that that that, that take care of those dance recitals i'm one of them yes. yeah but see but i'm saying if there was you know if it was me and him mm -hmm. i'm not saying i ain't taking nothing away from a daddy that do the dance thing but if it was me and him today and there was a choice of who gonna fall on that knife <laughs> it would have been me these are He's parenting tips also <laughs> when you're taking care of your kids you are falling on the knife <laughs> so i guess we should actually say who you are and um what exactly you're here for your name is dondre anderson and not you DeAndre. are not yeah. deandre no <laughs> For those out there listening, Dondre. I know you got a cousin, an uncle, a nephew, or a brother and named she's, Deandre. She's pronouncing it wrong. It's Deandre. No, right it's Dondre. Dondre. Dondre Anderson, and he is the CEO and founder of Symphony Chips. Are you co founder, founder, CEO, I am, customer service? I am what co are you? <laughs> customer service. Yeah, I'm all those things. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, I am co founder. Uh, co-founder with with, uh, with 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 my dad okay yeah, all the dad would, that really doesn't exist he's he'll be here in 90 days 90 oh you counting down the days it's 90 <laughs> days he's gonna be i'm putting him to work <laughs> how do people be like where, where you gotta follow where he at yeah i'm putting him right there right because we need to see that this man really exists oh, i've yeah. seen him in pictures but I, you could have cut that out of jet magazine <laughs> <laughs> he, he will appreciate that comment too <laughs> But okay, let's give you a little look, give a little bi uh, bio. Dondre is an entre entrepreneur that started a software service company and then, with the help of his father, started a spice company. Oh, we're on the spice theme today. It, it can Ooh, go on. Black people seasoning food. Yep. Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> black, not black. And without just, just hot sauce either. <laughs> right, or vinegar. <laughs> um, the spice company then turned into a potato chip company based on feedback from customers that love the spices. Dondre also includes his daughters as part of the business by teaching them product development, marketing, and supply, change man supply chain management. And I have to say, he is... His daughters are so beautiful. I'm so glad I don't have daughters, especially that look like yours, because it was, they're like two Amazonian gazelles, just. <laughs> and the just, tigers and lions are out there. Right. They out there, pouncing. That's what I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Me and Gary just shake our head, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have two daughters like that. But, mm -hmm. um, so I know I've given a little brief bio, but you tell us a little bit more about Dondre and what you do and how you come to be here. What I do, wow, what don't I do, right? Mm. So as an entrepreneur, so it's such a pretty word, so so many letters in there, it should be an acronym because you do dumb, almost everything in that acronym. Right, right, <laughs> it's a letter, right. <laughs> it's a letter for everything. Right. Um, so, so besides my <clears throat> software company um, that, that I have, which is a service-based company, I, I, I learned that, you know, having a service-based company, you have to show up in order to make money. Mm -hmm. And it was it was nice for a while, but then I kept I realized that wait a minute I have to be here. Is there a way I can make the same amount of money or more and not have to show up? Mm -hmm. So I read this wonderful book called The Four Hour Work Week, 
And the author of that book talked about um, actually having a product and explained how to outsource a lot of the things that you do on a day-to-day basis. Mm -hmm. And that book has been like a Bible in a lot of ways um, as far as um, um, set, um, uh, constructing my uh, infrastructure as far as, as, far as my, um, my supply chain, things like that or whatever. But um, yeah, so when the, when the Spice Company came along, well, the Spice came along, well, okay, let me back up. Interesting story with the spices, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I ever told you. So my dad one morning was cooking breakfast, right? And he made me eggs. He made eggs for breakfast, right? Mm-hmm. He makes eggs most of the time, right? Mm-hmm. So I, he put this spice on his eggs, right? And I was like, oh my God, he's had the best eggs I've ever had. Like, what is this? Because everyone just salt and pepper. Like, what is this? <laughs> and you know, you know how that generation is. They go, like, oh boy, ain't no big deal. This is something I put I on my eggs. Right, 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 right. So I was like, Pop, this is ridiculous. This is amazing. What is this? And so I made him tell me. And I was like, wow. I said, where'd you get this from? I'm, I'm looking for, the, you know, like, was, was it some uh, other, other spice company, whatever? He was like, no, I made this. I constructed this while I was working on the strip. I'm like, what? He's like, oh, what? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> he, he told me the story about how, how, he, um, how he, was, um, he was always prepping food or whatever and always having to season it. So he just figured out a way to, to season stuff without having to keep remixing it all the time. So he uh-huh. figured out a way to do it one mm-hmm. time and be done. And it was so good that the people he worked with tried to steal it. <laughs> oh, so this was the original blend. Yeah, the original blend. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And so I say, Pop, we have to, we got we to sell it because other people would love this. What year was this? This was like, uh, gosh, I want to say I was out there uh, maybe like 2007, 2006, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. So I was out there um, for, for, some, for some, some reason because that's where I grew up. And. That's where he is now. Black people don't live in Vegas. What? You grew up what? <laughs> yes, I grew up in Vegas. What? That's where I got my tan. Don't hate mm-hmm. on me. <laughs> a permanent tan. Light-skinned person? <laughs> I am not light-skinned. You lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how dark pe- dark-skinned people say. You lied to me. Yeah, and then you'd be like, okay, Trump. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, not then, that. No, well, not then, Trump me, but then, not Trump. Then, then there's clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my sister. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, you said so yeah so back, so back so back in the early 2000s he introduced me to the spice and then we decided to bottle it and sell it and then when we got into our first grocery store we quickly because we thought we'd put on the shelf and it would just sell okay so that didn't happen so <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know you package it pretty put it on the shelf it should just fly you should buy, right, it should right. just fly you know you package it they will come that's it right. doesn't that's work right. like that it doesn't that. work that way at all so uh, we had to give demos, uh-huh. and so we had to put it on the, like like uh, raw vegetables and popcorn because it's all natural spice. Okay. So people would try it and they would buy it, and they think it was going pretty cool. So then we had the idea to actually um, make homemade potato chips in the store. So literally right there, pull out the grease, put the season on it, hand it out. People were like, oh my god, this is incredible. They were like, one guy, one guy was like, look, I want to buy everything you have here. The, tell me what kind of skillet you're using. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know the grease you're using, the type of potatoes you have. I want it all so I can recreate this. So enough people kept saying the same things. I said, okay, we may have something here. Okay. So so then I, I looked into starting a potato chip company, mm-hmm. and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. But it was just mm-hmm. finding the the right the right um combination of spice blending and also co packing to make it work. So splice the splice. Spice Blender is yep. a separate entity, mm-hmm. and then you have to, you have to tell us about the whole process okay. of you know going from grocery store to actually a symphony chip. Absolutely, yeah, it's awesome. So we will be right back in just oh, is it is it two and two? Sure. Is that how it used to be? Is that, is that how they do it on right on two, two and two? two? I don't know what that meant, I don't but. Know what that <laughs> <laughs> this is Eye to Eye with Sita and Garrett Lash, and we have our guest today, Dondre Anderson of Symphony Chips. We'll be right back.
Be a vendor at Dish the Band 2019, a Puff Cuff experience at the Riverside Epicenter in Estelle, Georgia on May 26. As a vendor, you'll get exposure and connection to our 300,000 followers on social media, exposure to our 20,000 email subscribers, a guest segment on the i2i podcast available on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play, direct interaction with over 400 attendees, networking opportunities with other local vendors, small business owners, and more. Email DTB events at thepuffcuff.com with DTB 2019 vendor in the subject line. We'll see you there. So this is Sita Lash back from the break and you're joining our podcast Eye to Eye from Idea to Invention. And our guest here today is Mr. Dondre Anderson, the co-founder and CEO of Symphony Chips. So tell us again how you go from... Hey, I'm need some good spices on these chips. <laughs> <laughs> to maybe I should start selling chips. So I actually um, had to look up co-packers, right? Because mm-hmm. I need I knew I needed a potato chip company. I was already doing it. Because mm-hmm. one thing I've learned is you know don't reinvent the wheel. Mm-hmm. Potato chips are out there in the world. Oops. I'm not creating some something that's you know revolutionary or brand new, right? Mm-hmm. So I know that there are people out there doing it. It was just finding them. And this is when it became somewhat difficult and fun, right? Because a lot of these companies don't advertise that they do private labeling. Oh. So they, they just think which that- is, Which is, for those of us who don't know what mm-hmm. private labeling is. Oh, so let's say you have a an idea for like, let's say, I don't know, a t-shirt or, some, or mm-hmm. something like that, right? Well, there's companies that make t-shirts, mm-hmm. right? But let's say you wanna, you wanna call your, your t-shirt, you know, Mine's going to be uh, Joe Smith, mm-hmm. Joe Smith's T-shirts, mm-hmm. right? And put Joe Smith on the front of it. Well, there's companies out there that make T-shirts and will put whatever you want to on them. And because yours is called Joe Smith, that's what's called considered a private label brand. Okay. And then they will put your name on top of it. Okay. Even though they make T-shirts all day, every day, they'll put your name on it. Because okay. at the end of the day, they don't care what it's called as long as, you know, they get paid for it. So, right. so that's, that's, that's what I had to find for potato chips. Okay, so you had to find a private label co-packer, co-packer, mm-hmm. which is easier or harder than said. It's um, it's kind of hard okay. because you can Google, but when they don't advertise, all oh, right, no one knows <laughs> who they are because they don't have to advertise. So it's all about who you know, what you know, who knows who. Exactly, exactly. Because a lot of these com- companies have big accounts, okay. and you get comfortable, right? Because so and so orders from you, you know, so many times a year you get comfortable making that same amount of money because people keep ordering the same amount of things from you. Mm-hmm. So you, I ain't got to advertise. This is my business. I'm set. Right, right. Which is kind of like you've kind of created a job in some sense. I think you've lost the entrepreneurial spirit at that point. Right, you're just, right. You're, you're just, just existing. Right, right. So but um, so um, I ended up finding them. Um, it was through Googling and also um, I had to go through um, the spice blender I found who also supply spices to some of these companies. Okay. So it was getting in touch with those companies and then it's like, well, we don't do that. Maybe so-and-so does that. So mm-hmm. calling a friend of a friend of a friend, mm-hmm. then I found my co-packer. Got you, got you. Now, how do you, you had to formulate the blend or how does that work? Okay, so so now this this part's kind of fun. So you know how you have a recipe online, right? You know, right. Like, like half a cup of sugar, right, you know, right. two cups of this or whatever. Well, when you're dealing with a spice blender, it's not cups anymore. It's actual weight. Ah. Because a cup can be right. several different things, right? right it could be right. not all the way full. It could be over the top full. You know, mm-hmm. some of us do cups, heaping you know, and right, heaping right. and all mm-hmm. that, right? Well, it's actually based upon weight. Mm-hmm. So we had to figure out the formula based upon weight and then what a pound of that looked like and then submit that to the uh, spice blender. And then try and maintain the same flavor all throughout? Yeah, yeah. That was a big question mark if you didn't see that on my face. <laughs> I'm like, is that what that looked like? <laughs> right, I was like, wait, how do you go from, Dad, this is great on some eggs to, oh, this is great on 50,000 bags of chips and it's the same flavor. How does that happen? Okay, so so once you figure out the formula for the spice blender, right? Mm-hmm. And so then when, when, you, when uh, um, the spice blender creates it, they put it in uh, like 50 pound bags. Right, so you take the you you, you have uh, our process. We have to take those fifty pound fifty pound bags and ship it to the co-packer. 
So the co-packer gets it, and then they have the seasoners that season the potato chips. Mm -hmm. So when you get potato chips, so it's chips women that are, just standing around doing this. See why got to be women? See. Because we are seasoners. <laughs> really? Really? Just women? <laughs> we live through seasons. Just women? Okay. I'm just saying what's Hiding in my head. I know they kids. I'm just saying what's in my head. It I'm could just... be a monkey. No, it's not. <laughs> well, just for your information. I do not want a monkey seasoning my it's chips. It's an automated process. Thank you. It's machines. So there's no human being. There's involved. no human being there's standing over there shaking There's not a whole bunch of heavyset it. women in, in April. Why they got to be heavyset <laughs> women? I'm not getting in trouble. <laughs> I love all women. I'm just telling. No, all shapes and all sizes. All I'm saying is that's the visual that I have. All job types. Now you cannot tell me. <laughs> that's I'm like, not going down that road with you. I all right, not, so keep I going. I want people to buy Symphony chips. Okay. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> okay, what so size you are? So the seasoners. So so what ends up what ends up happening when, when you have let's say um like like a ch cheddar cheese or a barbecue or whatever flavor you have, there's these seasoners that are programmed to shake. They actually, it's like a, you can picture a large canister mm -hmm. with a, um, with a, uh, with a mesh uh, uh -huh. bottom mm -hmm. that vibrates. Okay. And then that sprinkles down into this container where the chips pass Passing by. Passing through, okay. And it tumbles them. Okay. So that way all of them get covered okay. evenly. Okay. And then they fall into a packaging machine. Mm -hmm. So our seasoning goes into that container and it's seasoned. Now, to make sure it's right, somebody has to stand there and sample. The chips. That's right. And uh -huh. this is where the, the heavy set man called Dondre comes in and does that. Oh, see, I, so see you know that. what he looks like. See, see, I, see I did that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I actually go there and I um I have to test it out to make sure it tastes correct. Because mm -hmm. cause the last thing I want is is um is not the coverage is too light okay. and you're not getting the flavor or it's right. way too much. Okay. Right. It has to be just right. Okay. So that's what I do. So you're the taster. That's right. It's a great job. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask this. And you, you, I think I heard you said that your your um, your spice blend is all natural. It's all natural. So mm. what does that mean? Because all natural means all, it's not as clear cut as it used to be. Hmm. So what does all natural? Because, you know, people just like the word celebrity. It's not... <laughs> Exactly <laughs> what, it what it means. That's right. You can be, be Instagram celebrity right, nowadays. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, or I can yeah. just, you know what? Today I'm gonna be a celebrity. So, <laughs> right. So what you does give yourself that title? Right. So yeah. what does that mean when you say all natural? So, so all natural means that there is there is no preservatives, no MSG, nothing that will you know bloat you or make you feel weird. How's that? What about gluten? No gluten. Really? Rust so right. no MSG, no preservatives no preservatives no gluten gluten and it's vegan friendly wow and it tastes good it tastes amazing yeah it does i was just see there's good because see salt and pepper is good <clears throat> but, but symphony, symphony chips is it amazing. is music in your mouth everybody's harmonious oh my goodness when i first had the chips Okay, so I started stalking cyber. See, I was getting you. to that. Right. I was getting to that. Do you want to tell the story now? You, you can want... tell it. Okay. It doesn't matter. All right. So so I am good at product development. I'm good at supply chain man management. What I'm not good at is marketing. I own that. Mm -hmm. I think as an entrepreneur, you should know what you're good at and respect your limitations. I think yeah. life goes so much easier for you when you respect your limitations. Like when you know you can't dunk, don't go out there trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Life will be pass so much the ball. Better. This right. way you pass the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Life gets easier. Right. So so um, I had the first design of our bags. We had we had to have some kind of design and I put it together. Right. And I actually had a chance to go to a marketing class and let them see this design I put together. Mm -hmm. And the first thing out of my mouth is like, these are potato chips. I thought it was popcorn. This is like popcorn in the front of the bag. I said, it's a chef's hat. It's a chef's hat. And, and it never came through. Okay. So. So um, I did this other um, uh, design where I got with a marketing company and it was more of a, can, if you can imagine like a tuxedo being on the bag kind of, right? But what it wasn't telling was our story of who we were mm -hmm. and also that we were black owned. Mm -hmm. Because the, the one thing about being black owned, which I don't, I don't you know, kind of pay into a whole lot is that 
I believe in being unapologetically black. Mm -hmm. I can't can't help who I am and what I look like. Mm -hmm. However, I have a great product, mm -hmm. and I happen to be black owned. Mm -hmm. So I don't look at it as the first thing I say. I see it as something that you see about me. Okay. So so it doesn't mean that only black people can eat your chips. That's right. Okay, got it. That's right. I just happen to be. I, hey, I'm I'm born here in America. I'm an American. My chips are just good. Eat my chips because they're better than the chips you're having right now. If okay. you're eating chips right now, I feel so sorry for you because they're not symphony. You're just eating salt and potatoes. Oh, that's so true. But go so, ahead. So then I received this, this DM from this person I'd never heard of before. Mm, she is bold. Yes. She is so bold. Yes, and said, and said your packaging sucks. <laughs> 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 and, and see, I, 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 I knew that my packaging was not where it needed to be. I knew that there was another version that it needed to, it needed to, another evolution need to go through. I just didn't know where it was going to come from. Mm -hmm. So when this, when this person named C the Lash um, DM me, I didn't on say Instagram, it quite like that. Look here, I, it's, <laughs> she didn't pull no punches. I know that this show is, you know, um, very um, politically correct, but there is was it? some, there was some language in mm -hmm. there that was like, your packaging sucks. I was yeah. just being honest. I read everything and I, all I saw was your packaging sucks. <laughs> it was a lot of, it was a whole paragraph and in bold letters it said your. It did uh, three not. Three lines la you know later, another bold says packaging. Another three lines later in bold said sucks. That's, that's what I read. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But People the, gonna think all types of, that is not what it's, I was way more tactful than that. But okay. basically that's what I was saying. And that's exactly what you said. <laughs> now the wonderful thing about Cedar, which I don't know <laughs> if, you, if you're, if you're, uh, fans know this about you is that you have this wonderful creative edge to you that is that is remarkable and oh. it is it is un it is unheard of of how well you can take a concept and pull through the 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 story you can pull the story through it you can pull the history through it and it it comes through in the, in the imagery that you that you create it is it is remarkable oh thank you we just knew we had to improve what that bag <laughs> why you like. don't downplay that wonderful <laughs> comment i just gave you this gold star comment you going oh i just humbly just put stuff together you know? <laughs> <laughs> i just i just i just connected well, what dots happened, what happened was i had saw you all on instagram and it was you and these two beautiful girls and i'm like oh a black man makes potato chips and he's got his daughters working for him oh I need to have them at Ditch the Band. So it was last year, the, the Ditch the Band last year. I was like, he would be a great um, asset and they would just, you know, eat up these chips. And I can't remember when, I can't remember how I actually tried the first chip. Um, I think you, when you, after you reached out to me and told me my packaging sucks, but you said I would like to try the chips or something like no, that. No, I didn't say your packaging sucked until I tried the I tried the chips. <laughs> that's true. This, I remember being next to you and you said that. That's right. That's true. Right. That's right. I wouldn't have put that in, in print. I already said it out loud. <laughs> you would want <laughs> you wanted to come back. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Garrett has I'm, taught me that. I'm suing you for defamation right. of Garrett character has right here. Garrett taught me that. 12 million, Yana. <laughs> 12 million. Because she said the truth. <laughs> um. So I think we were together some somewhere and I said, hey, why don't yeah, you, you try to, them? You got to clarify that. We yeah. Were, yeah. Yeah. We were we were me, you and Garrett were together somewhere. I was saying all of us. But OK, yeah, I think my was. daughters were there, too. Is that what we, what is that? No, it was when you invited us out, invited me and Garrett out. <sighs> That's to, right. Right. We yes. had we had a formal CEO meeting. Right. Yeah. At 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 at, at this wonderful conference area. Right. And you made yeah. us feel all special, and I was. Like, I did. Who is this? Are we expecting other people? And no. You're like, no. No. This is how CEOs are supposed to roll. And you're teaching me that. <laughs> you're definitely teaching me that. So we will continue the story with Dondre and how his packaging sucked and how we got. <laughs> <laughs> how we improved things after that. I mean, Susan, after we get back with Eye to Eye, a podcast from Sita and Garrett Lash, from idea to invention.
So we are back talking with Sandra Anderson of Symphony Chips on our podcast from idea to invention. I am Cedar Lash, inventor and founder of Puff Cuff, and my husband, my husband man Garrett, had to go take care of the children, but he is here in spirit. G money. Yep. So go. Let's go back to we were talking about how we're not making this about me, but it's about you. The no, it's not the chips. It is that. So we met. Mm Hmm. And he let us order lunch, and I was like, no, I'm not going to have the fries. I'm going to have the chips. Right, because I brought potato chips yes. to the meeting because I was like, well, if you have this ability to um, create graphics or whatever, I, I knew that the next the next evolution of chips, the person had to try the chips because then I thought the inspiration would come from the flavor, which is what it should do. Yes. It should do. And it did. Yeah. So when you try the chips, you were like, oh, my God. Yes. I was oh like, you know what? This is ridiculous how bad your bag looks. Yep. Because there what's in the bag See, I told y'all does she not said it. <laughs> See, I told y'all she said it. <laughs> what's in the bag does not represent what's on the outside of the bag. Mm-hmm. And everybody is so visually conscious now mm-hmm. that it's what represents on what the first their first impression is what's going to follow through. And you you got you got to snag them on what the bag looks like because what I expected to taste, mm-hmm. it it was not, it was way beyond, way beyond what my expectations were, and that was the that was the original flavor. Now I've was tasted just the, the original, or, right? That mm-hmm. I've tasted the original, which is amazing. Like you almost feel sad for a regular sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Ham and cheese, right, ain't right, the same right. No it's more. just right. It's like mm, I feel like this needs to be on a baguette or some a pretzel roll or something because this sandwich is not living up to the level of these chips. Then the smoke came, which the smoke is the smoke is still really good, but still I I, I still favor the um, the original. But then you let me taste the sweet potato. Mm-hmm. Like I might not eat regular sweet potato casserole or anything else anymore <laughs> for the fact of how good the sweet potato. And the thing is, I've only, that was been like, I feel like that's been like six months ago that I tasted. It's probably been it. a year. So what's going on with the sweet potato chip? You want the truth? Can I speak truth No, here? don't lie. No, lie to me. No. Well, I could just get politically correct and answer that. We no. are we are working through different no, channels. No, give us to the, 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 the street uh, version. <laughs> the street version version. Well well part part of supply chain is and it's 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 such a interesting word, supply chain. So um sometimes so there's links in the chain that you have to you have to change. Oh. And some links that just do not decide desire to pull your product along with it. Oh, okay. So so the first manufacturer I had decided that they um they I don't think they knew that they were working for a black company. <laughs> oh, yes. I do remember you said that. Yes. And then your face, Sita went and put your face on the back of the bag. Yes, yes, yes. Because as soon as the artwork arrived at their at their, they were um, like, Hold up. <laughs> at their facility, the liaison I was working with, the business development manager I was working with, was fired immediately. Get out. Immediately. They didn't even when I called her. It's like, what happened? Because I was because because you work with somebody so long, right? So you know, you build up a report. How many years had you been? Had they been doing your chips? Well, they've been doing my chips at that point for I want to say two years, because it took wow. us because 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 I'm bootstrapping this, meaning I don't have any loans or any investors. I'm literally you know working to right. pay for everything, everything. myself, mm-hmm. and then when the chips first came out, you know, I let the the small bags pay for the larger bags. You know, it's how it's how it worked. Right, right. And so, as I was gaining momentum, um, then that's when you came along and we changed the, uh, the the packaging for the better. And just working with that that same person, you know, for so many years, um, you know, you get you build was, up a rapport. I right, mean, I had right. a personal cell phone number because right, if I ever right. need anything, I could I could text her or whatever. So it was working out. So when this 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 time came about where um, uh, we switched the packaging, and I was I couldn't reach her anymore. I was like, what's going on? I'm texting her. I was like, what's going on? I'm calmly. I need another order. What's happening? Right, da, da, right. Da. And then I had to I actually look her up on LinkedIn 
Yeah. Get out. And find her personal cell phone number. Because I had her I had a work cell phone number, mm-hmm. of course. So I had to find her personal cell phone number and reach out to her, like, what happened? What's going on? Mm-hmm. And she was like, Well, they just walked in and fired me. I was like, What? Just out the blue? They were like, Yeah, it was like no notice, no nothing. They just fired me. And I was like, That's crazy. So then so then I, I had to call them back and kind of work my way through somebody who could take my order or whatever. Right, right. I ended up talking to one of the owners. And the owner came on, I was like, listen, um, we have some film here with your company on it, and we're just going to run it all, and you just pay us for it. I was like, run it all? I was like, I have, I have like, like, like 20,000, uh-huh. you know, something like that, right? Which uh-huh. would have been like, what, like maybe like $30,000 mm-hmm. worth of product to mm-hmm. run all at one time. I'm like, well, I don't have 30 grand just right, laying right. around. They knew you, know? you didn't. Right. Well. They knew you didn't. I was like, well, I said, well, you can do that. But, you know, I'm going to have to, we're going to work out like a, a net, you know, 100 90, plan. 90, right, right. 100 plan. 20, right. <laughs> for me to be able to pay that off. They're like, well, no, we need our money in 30 days. And I was like, that's not, that's not going to happen. I'm like, you're being unrealistic. I said, uh-huh. if you look, 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 I said, if you look at our business history and our relationship, that's never happened in the past. Right. Why are you changing this all of a sudden? Uh-huh. So they were like, look, you, you can take the deal or not. Wow. So I had to get my attorney involved. Good, good, good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. And, uh. Luckily, we signed a contract. Okay. And the contract favored they, okay. the favored me. Okay. And when he recited the contract to them in the, the sections or whatever, mm-hmm. and then also found some wonderful state law that they were violating, oh, some wow. best practices business okay. law that they were violating, okay. and sent that to them in a little email. All of a sudden, their tune changed a little bit. Okay. All of a sudden, they were nicer. Well, just let us know what you need us to run for you. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> But they were like, they were going to try what they were going to try. Exactly. So I had to find another co-packer. Okay. Because when you have somebody angry. At you. You at don't you, want them. Yeah. Season, spitting you in don't your want food. Them, right. You don't want them season us. <laughs> you don't want them to season us no more. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So I had to find another co-packer. And in doing that, you know, um, the bags we have fit the co-packer we had. So when we got a new co-packer. We had to redo oh, the bags the, and, re- and right. change the, the plates and everything that, that which that is a whole new film. investment. Yes, so that's why it took a little longer. Gotcha. So that's why the sweet potato chips were taking a little longer was because everything got kind of got pushed backwards. Right, the, and these are the hiccups and the unforeseens mm-hmm. of small business ownership. No, no, up and coming businesses. I'm sorry, we're not small anymore. No. Okay. Small. There's no such thing as small business. Only small minds. Okay, so what are you trying to call me? You're not a small business. <laughs> I, I just need to get with it. Um, see, I, 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 I kind of think of it this way. You're an entrepreneur until you open up a business account. Then you have a business. Then you're a business owner because you technically you. have registered with the state okay. and you have a business account. Okay. So somebody can write a check to your business mm-hmm. and give you money. Okay. So you have a business. Right. Right. You become a corporation when you start running payroll. Okay. And you start paying those corporate taxes. <laughs> Well, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, so. okay. Hello, corporation. Right. Okay, so you, you still a small business? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Because Uncle yeah. Sam then came mm-hmm. twice, and I'm like, God, dog, mm-hmm. I could fund a small country with you these. You could. How much I got to get this man? You could. Okay. That's a whole nother. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother show. <laughs> and a whole lot of cursing <laughs> with <Right>. some drinks. <laughs> mm. Um. You made me lose my whole train of thought. So, now. so, so, so that's why the sweet potato chips were taking a little longer because we had to re refactor our supply chain. Right, right. So now that we have that done, you know, starting May first, we're I'm calling it the all chips in push promotion. Right, got you. Because we're having we're gonna have not only the smoke chips back, but the smoke chips in the family size bag, <gasps> and also the original in the family size bag. All that's gonna be available May first. Well, where's the sweet potato? Hold on. <laughs> See, there, there's a there, there, there's a methodology to all of this. Okay, so, I'm, I'm, so once we go all chips in, okay, right, uh-huh. then we're gonna come back with the spices for those chips that are out. Okay, so people can people who love the flavor, right, can now buy the spices. Which I do use your spices too. You, you're the only one that has my spices. Get out. No what? one else. Yeah. What? I don't get that stuff away. What are you talking about? Well, I, I, yeah. okay, because okay. I want to. We, we have a special a you know, relationship. You know, the, the Lashes and the Andersons have a very special relationship, you know, so. You yeah, know. with the, um, with whether the it's on salmon, yes. chicken, mm-hmm. asparagus. She can attest to it. Yes. It's some good stuff. It's good stuff. And it's it's consistent mm-hmm. on everything. Mm-hmm. And then you can use it on more than, more than one thing at the same time. 
and you can start it all doesn't your taste food. right, it and it all doesn't the taste the same. That's right. Yes, that's something no other spice company can do. It's called music. No, every bite is harmonious. That's right. Yes, so true. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about, since I'm not gonna get the potato chips, the sweet potato chips, sweet potato chips. So, well, can you give me like a little? I mean, <laughs> I mean. So we have one more flavor to come out before the sweet potato what comes out. What is that? Out. Yeah, we have. We have to put out bouillon. No, don't do that. <laughs> we Come have to on. put out bouillon. There's Why? a reason because because my daughter has to launch her fry mix. Okay, tell. Oh wait a second. We gonna have to come back <laughs> after. The... <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, so we're gonna come back. I don't hear the music. Oh, well, it's coming. Okay, so tell us about <laughs> I the. Love this. I love it. <laughs> tell us real quick about. The... No, nope, we're we flashing, flashing zeros. Yes. So and there it music. is. Okay, there's the music. So mm-hmm. that means we are about to come back and In talk two and about two. the right. fry mix and then see what I can do about moving the sweet potato <laughs> in the manufacturing process. So we'll be right back with Eye to Eye here with Sita and Dondra Anderson from Symphony Chips. vendor at Dish Shaban 2019, a Puff Cuff experience at the Riverside Epicenter in Estelle, Georgia on May 26. As a vendor, you'll get exposure and connection to our 300,000 followers on social media, exposure to our 20,000 email subscribers, a guest segment on the i2i podcast available on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play, direct interaction with over 400 attendees, networking opportunities with other local vendors, small business owners, and more. Email DTB events at thepuffcuff.com with DTB 2019 vendor in the subject line. We'll see you there. And we are back with idea from I'm sorry from idea to invention. Um, I'm Sita Lash, inventor and founder of Puff Puff LLC, and we are here with Dondre Anderson, the CEO and co-founder of Symphony Chips. So we are back to you telling us about you just kind of threw us left, you know, us left. or just you. <laughs> I feel my kids are in the same situation and and Garrett, even though Garrett has not tasted the sweet potato chips. But my children have. I thought he was there. Mm-mm. We okay. Mm-mm. Okay. My Y'all ate them all have, up. Right. It was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be <clears throat> dissension in the ranks. Right. It was. It was bad. It was me and the children. We ate them all. Mm. And that's technically like his favorite. That's his go-to. Oh, is it? Of, you know, any potato. It's his go-to is sweet potato. Oh. So we did feel bad, but we thought they were going to be more. You know, coming oh, soon. That was the. That was your thinking going into that bag. There's going to be more. No, soon. like half. Well, we were almost done <laughs> <laughs> with, with the bag. <laughs> but um, so you said your daughter's coming out with a fry mix. So you got to yes. come out with the bouillon. Mm-hmm chips so yes. explain this this whole thing to us so so remember we're a spice company underneath mm-hmm. and so the whole idea of the potato chips is to introduce you to the new flavors and then from there you'll then get the spices and then my daughter is going to have her gluten-free all-natural low-carb fry batter oh. so you can you can deep fry your favorite protein or whatever in it and then you get to experience the same flavor that's coming through on the on the chips okay so you have two more products coming out that oh there's another one too oh lord please let what then the other daughter now this is once bouillon comes then souffle is coming because then souffle is going to be the sweet potato chips okay and then my daughter's using that seasoning to launch her uh um pastry line 
Okay. All right. And that is, it's gluten-free also, mm-hmm. right? Gluten-free also. Gluten-free and low-carb. Wow. Pastries. Yes. Based upon the sweet potato seasoning that has a flavor nobody else has. So how do you keep your flavors a secret? I mean, like your formulas and stuff. How is that, is that proprietary or how does that I like, work? I like, you know, I have it all memorized. And once I wrote it down and memorized it, I, 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 I ate it. So what happens if something <laughs> happens to you? Come on, we cannot do it's under the mattress in the yep, humidity. Yep, show Liz. No. Show mm-hmm. Liz. It's, it's, like, it's, it's three uh, vaults and then you got to swim, you know, 20 miles down. <laughs> No, um, I mean, I mean, is it, you know, they're not my spices; they're my dad's. I understand. So he has all that information. He has all. You know where daddy got it? Where he got it? Yeah. Where he got it hidden? Where he got it hidden? Right. I, I, it's no telling. I mean, he 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 actually has his uh his um bank account information on his uh on the back of the checkbook. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it's 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 actually on the wall. Uh, he had it pinned to a card on the, on his wall. <laughs> I was like, what? Ain't nobody coming up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. And say, and no one would think to look for it there. I'm like. Yeah, probably true. Hiding That's in plain true. sight. Right, right, right. So we going to make sure that. that <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But but um, I mean, the spice blender I use is we have a, a catalog with them. Okay. They have, they have all the recipes and all that. Mm-hmm. So it's all, you know, NDAs and all that kind of stuff involved. Okay. So all that's there. So if anything ever were to happen to me or whatever, then, you know, the, the owners of the company, my dad and or my, my, my children mm-hmm. can come and continue. I guess I'm more asking, how do you keep from some, how do you keep someone from duplicating your that, blend? They can try. It is, it is over 25 different spices that are in that blend. Okay. So good luck. All right. <laughs> Put All it right. together. I got you. I got you. And then, then how, then, then unlike other seasoned salts that are out there, that the more you add to them, they become saltier. Right. See, ours, right. the more you add to it, it becomes spicier. And that's true. Because I have been like, I put the season on, seasoning on and I'm thinking I'm overdoing it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, whoa, that's not salty at all. Mm-hmm. No. And it goes another direction. Right. It was like, Ma, what'd you do to it? <laughs> Stepped it up a notch. <laughs> I accidentally let the cap fell off. <laughs> 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 right, right. And a lot of the other top C seasoning companies out there don't have that capability. So got you. we got something special. Yes, you do. I mean, honestly, you do. And the story that came along with it, because the other thing that we were, that was another part of what I felt needed to be um, um, noticed and up for, for your customers to take notice was your story with your dad and how it came from. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a family thing, and these are the real faces behind, and this is a real story, because everybody needs to know and needs to be able to identify. Just, just like we had um, um, Kelly on earlier, these the skills and what we're doing now have come from generations past, sure. And we're just have different opportunities than they had, so now it's our turn to bring and make these things come to fruition. Yeah. So <laughs> I think I, I think I think it's important, and you know, just just in our society and also in our culture, to let p- people know that they're actually human beings behind this. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a lot of times it gets lost in in corporate America. What gets lost in corporate America is is the, is the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know how how did this start? How did this begin? Where did it come from? Mm-hmm. We get so caught up in the you know we don't want people to see any imagery of people just pay attention to the product or whatever, then you lose sight. Uh, I think a lot of companies have lost sight of you're actually servicing people Mm -hmm. and this came from people or a person. So why not keep that lineage along with with it? So I think the imagery you added was brilliant. So Oh, thank you. But yeah, it was it was I keep trying to compliment you. It just it just ain't working. You know what? (laughs) Fathead (laughs) that's your new name. Fathead. Can't take a compliment. I can't take a compliment. I say thank you. Thank you. There you go. Um (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so the only way, the only way to leave see the speeches is to compliment her. There you go. All right, then it gets <laughs> get embarrassing. Go ahead. Um, let's see, two minutes. So we wanted to also, okay. So where do you see? Well, I guess you already told us you've got the new products coming out. Mm-hmm. When do you foresee yourself hanging up the computer, um, the IT portion, and you going full speed, one hundred percent? Um, symphony. I mean, I, you know, it's so funny you asked that question because I was just at this um, sim- seminar last night. 
Um, that wasn't one of these seminars, more like a, a, a uh, I don't know, uh, it was an event where we were actually talking about um, um, what success looked like for us. And we had to write these I am state statements, like I am successful when, right? Oh, not instant message, actually. Not, I, yeah. am. I am. I am. <laughs> not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you for making not that clarity. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I am uh -huh. successful when, right? And you had to ah, fill in the blank. Uh -huh. And so what I wrote was I am successful when I am making money while sleeping and playing. Oh, yes. God, dog it. That's so, yes. Because we don't know, a lot of us do not know what that, Totally foreign. Do not know, know what that means. I remember the first time. Except for when Shopify goes off in the middle of the night. <laughs> let's, not, let's, not, let's not talk about that. Um, I, I remember the first time I got an order, I woke up to an order. Mm -hmm. I actually made money while I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. That was an incredible feeling. Feeling, right. I was like, I mean that that was that was incredible. So to answer your question, when will I hang up the, the software? Game? I mean, once once the chips get to a place where, you know, there's enough profitability in it for me to live on, mm -hmm. I'm done. I I mean, I love IT. I have a passion for IT. It's like mm -hmm. that was my one true first love mm -hmm. because it was so vast. It just it, it was like it was like getting a big hug from Big Mama because mm -hmm. you know you can hug as long as you want to, mm -hmm. right? Big Mama never let you go, and IT is like that. So, you know, when I, when I got into uh, software development and working with companies and, and organizing their chaos, mm -hmm. I loved it because they were like working with dysfunctional families and all you had to do was show them how to deal with each other. <laughs> and they pay you large sums of money to do it. Okay. I'm like, okay. okay. That works out. It's just, but the problem is you got to show up. Mm -hmm. See, after reading a four hour work week and learning that I can have a product that shows up right. instead shows of up, me. Right, instead of physically. I ain't got to be there. And it makes money. Makes a difference. That's a whole new life. Yep, then it's just learning how to structure your company accordingly so when you make those large sums of money, you know how to, to deal write with stuff off accordingly yes. and, you know. Deal with it. Get Uncle Sam out your yeah. pocket. You need a foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll talk about a little bit more about that. <laughs> 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 this isn't the last segment, is it? it? We're done? Yeah. Oh, snap. Okay, well. We're not coming back to talk about it <laughs> another set, but we also want to let you know that Don Dre and his lovely daughters, except for the one who has our birthday weekend. Oh, yes, That Lord. weekend, right. Um, they will be at Ditch the Band 2019 selling those, selling the amazing symphony chips. So if you want to come and you haven't tasted it, you've never you've not known about it before, you want to come taste them for the first time, please come out to Ditch the Band on May 26th. Andre will be there um, just, you know, making it happen. And once you go symphony, you, you don't go, go back. back. And once you once you ditch your band and come, <laughs> o come over to do the Puff Cup, you come to this concert. She's she. No, you're coming to a rock concert. OK, we're we are simply we're mere mortals. Mere mortal vendors at this rock concert called Ditch the Band. It's gonna be all that and everything. It this is year. You, more if you than thought that. last year was good, this I year is I heard this year's gonna be, gonna be incredible. Chain. Yeah, it's, it's off so the chain. So I'm I'm like, you know, bringing some anchors to hold me down because I hear it's gonna be a whirlwind. Right. Win. <sighs> right. right. Boom. That's what's gonna happen. Boom. And then with that, I'm just happy to give them the best tasting chips to go along with the best tasting hair. I mean the best no, the best hair product. hair product. We're not tasting no. hair product. No. So the best tasting it's chips to go along with the best hair product out there. Hair accessory. I'm sorry, hair accessory. <laughs> so that's it's not a I, hair product too. Yeah, it's a no, product for your hair. You it's know, it's, different. It's a product, and you put it's, it in your hair. You know, you know, you got to be real clear when it. You're comes. right. The best hair accessory out there on the planet right now. So if yes. you're tired of your head hurting, and you got to tell, you got to tell them, hey, I got a headache, and you really for real. It, 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 you might if your girl keeps saying she got a headache, get her get her a puff get cup. her a puff cup. Shoot, deal don't with do that. Talk about my head deal with that, my right? Man bun is hurting. Deal with that. Yeah, so baby, I got a head, I got a headache. I just can't. What did you tell you, baby? I got this puff cup for you. <laughs> and here's a bag clear, of chips. We're gonna clear all that. that. We clear out. Here's some chips for you. <laughs> She'll love you for the chips and the puff cup. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up. We are. We have already wrapped it up. And thank you so much for joining us again for. 
From Idea to Invention, a podcast with Sita and Garrett Lash, founders and, and inventor of the Puff Cup. And our thank you again to our guest, Andre Anderson of Symphony Chips, which he is Atlanta based also. And um, we will see you next go round. Take care, be blessed, and be a blessing. Bye.